Yo, what up, street talk, street god, street vlogs. Or Kim the house, all right? Some, uh, some turbo thoughts. This is about men versus non-men matters. So first and foremost, if you's feeling good, take off your shirt. Okay. So the the first practical thought I have is uh, men versus non-men matters. So I feel like if you's a dude. Take off your shirt and flex as much as possible. Um, I actually think uh, so. Um, so some some random turbo thoughts. I think uh, first and foremost, if you're a man, only concern yourself with man matters, male matters, and uh, don't concern yourself with uh, other matters. So you know, what is it that we men care for? Um, I think we care for physical culture. You know, kind of uh, dominance. Hierarchy, physicality, striving for more, etc. And I think one thing that uh, is kind of tricky is that, like, <laughs> isn't it so funny in today's world right now? It's like, it only seems like it's women or female scholars who opine on uh, masculinity matters, but I have never seen no man <laughs> with a, a spine. <laughs> to talk about male matters. And I think it's uh, it's very important because uh, what's the difference between man and woman? Uh, I mean, in terms of legally, and, uh, I mean, you know, certainly in terms of equality of rights, I think uh, it's a good idea that men and women have equal rights, right? That's good thing then the second thought is is men and women the same no we's different right <laughs> uh you know look at this what the the nasa thing that went to go to the aliens what voyager 10 or something is just like the proportion of the man is very different than women you look at ancient art sculpture vases whatever's uh the proportions of men and women are obviously different uh you know <laughs> uh Think about uh, the Spartan 300. I mean, it's like, there's a reason they brought the 300 elite men to go fighting, not the 300 elite women to go fighting. It's like pretty pretty obvious uh, differences there. Um, I mean, other practical, you know, physics, biological things, you know, men cannot give birth, women can, only men, uh, women can. And so I think uh, we're just kind of like living in this like funny, confused world now where... Uh, um, Men is not permitted to be men. Men are not allowed to be assertive, to be aggressive, in your face, dominant, whatever have you use. And uh, I almost wonder if the big issue now is that, uh, like, in terms of like gender interactions, it's tricky, right? Because Certainly the way that a man treats a woman is different than the way a man treats another man versus a woman treats another woman versus a woman treats another man. And also like, I think nowadays a lot of the issues arise in the workplace. So there's like, like a little work, uh, workplace politics, um, et cetera, and, you know, politics, stuff like that. Um, but I think in terms of philosophy, talking about masculinity or femininity. So for example, like it is generally considered distasteful for men to talk about idealized femininity, right? Uh, stuff, what does it mean to be feminine? Uh, and also I do find it like slightly, uh, a little bit, a little bit, uh, like, uh, disaccurate or imprecise when women talk about male masculinity issues because like just like a man cannot or should not I think talk about you know female you know menstrual cycles because us men will never experience it so we have no idea so similarly um, I mean I think some certain facts that what testosterone of a man is like a thousand times higher than a woman so when a man gets heated or angry or aggressive or adrenaline high it's a physiologically different feeling that a woman will never experience or know so uh, so 
and also the hormones that uh, regulate between man and woman is totally different. Some also another thought too. I've had like um, you know, in terms of uh, gender, sex, you know, LGBTQ. I like the idea that anyone could determine what one wants to be. I just think that the thing that I am personally against is like when people take strange hormones to do anything, right? Like, uh, like I'm anti steroids. I'm anti when people do the the hormones to make yourself more like a man or a woman or you know some sort of surgeries. I think that's just kind of a uh, well unnecessary. Probably not quote quote healthy either. Um, but yeah, like you know, gay, bisexual gender curious i'm like yeah go for it do do your thing and everyone should kind of uh leave you alone i mean certainly at the end of the day you want to do plastic surgery or you know change your genitalia or hormone therapy i mean that's it's all good right like you could do it it's a free country right just do what whatever you want to uh to do uh <laughs> just don't force me to do it right uh but yeah i think everyone should have pride in themselves what they do um and so, yeah, I think, I mean, this is a tricky thing too, right? As a man, certainly you'll talk to different, like if you're just a bunch around uh, a bunch of other men or dudes, you're certainly going to talk different than if you're surrounded by a bunch of women or if it's an intermixed group. And I, I almost, this is, a the, this is more of like a sociological theory is, I wonder if in the past, because men and women did not intermingle in social circles, um, it was not a... Like, as a man, being around other men and women in an intermixed group, like, one was, doesn't have to be more, like, holding their tongue and being uh, socially or politically correct. Um, you know, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if this is true or not, but, like, I mean, at least for me and my guy friends, you know, in high school, we do all this cool, cool gay stuff, right? Like, just, you know, dick jokes and slapping each other on the butt and ball taps and stuff like that. Um... And certainly, I think, uh, conversely, I mean, I think it's, I think it's good and it's healthy and it's women just hanging out with other women, they're certainly going to talk differently and interact differently. They kind of get each other better. Uh, same thing with men. So, uh, but ultimately, so I also, another thing I like about going to the gym, you know, just shooting the shit with other random guys and stuff like that. Um, the, the social ties are, are important, whether it be familiar or unfamiliar or whether it be stranger or not. Um, but yeah, and I think, uh, I mean, I'm just going to posit some personal uh, male masculinity goals I personally believe in. I mean, take everything with a grain of salt. It's, free, it's like, people are always like, how dare you say X once? I'm like, bro, that's a free guy. Like, you don't like one well, Don't watch it. You can unsubscribe. It's cool, right? It's like, how dare you talk about X, Y, and Z? It's like, bro, you don't pay for this? It's like, it's like, it's like this, is, this, is, this is kind of funny. Um, but, uh... Yeah, so first and foremost, um, yeah, once again, I'll just posit some male ideals. Yeah, I think men should eat more meat, red meat, uh, cholesterol is a natural steroid. Uh, I'm for the 100% carnivore diet, da -da 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 um, Towards kind of a more male, masculine ideal. Bigger muscles, uh, bigger flexing. It's a... Uh, it's all good. I think the, the more we could flex and be topless outdoors during the middle of the day, the better. And also I find the funny thing too, right? In modern day society, it's like one is permitted to drive the sports car or the Porsche 911 and drive a loud car or a convertible top. I'm like, but I'm not allowed to walk topless. I'm not allowed to flex my muscles in public. I'm like, anytime you have a muscle car and your 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 car is loud AF or a motorcycle, zoom, 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 right? It's like, that's okay, but it's like, I can't flex my muscles. Uh, so it's just kind of one of these uh, weird, bizarre inconsistencies of uh, modern day life. Okay, so 100% carnivore diet. Uh, I'm all for intermittent fasting, cold showers. I haven't taken a warm shower or bath in like seven or eight years unless it's like a sauna or like a onsen kind of thing. Taking cold showers will just give you a steel spine. Doesn't hurt. You're not gonna. It's funny because actually, uh, the reason I like cold showers is that it's actually like um, beneficial in so far much as you, when you wake up, take a cold shower, it just helps wake you up. Uh, and also, before you sleep by uh, taking a cold shower, it actually helps you fall asleep earlier because. Um, 
I think physiologically your body actually needs to dip in temperature before sleeping. So for example, if you take a really, really hot, for me at least, take a really, really hot shower before I sleep, it takes me a while to fall asleep because like I'm so hot and now I'm in bed and I'm like hot, hot and just gotta, gotta wait to cool down. Whereas it's better that you take an icy cold shower, it's cold, then you just jump into bed, it's nice and warm, cozy, and you just, you just pass out and you, you fall asleep. That seems like a, a better strategy. Um, or also in the middle of the day, if you're just kind of tired and you, you want a break or just a mental reset, just take a cold shower, right? Cold showers are good. Um, and also, I think hot saunas, going to the gym or a place with a hot sauna, I think I think it's also it's good too. It's a good place to zen out. Sometimes I just lie down, take a nap in the sauna, hot sauna in the gym. Um, and yeah, and eat more meat. Uh, things I don't consider masculine, you know, smoking weed, drinking alcohol, stuff like that. I'm also like... I mean, I think tattoos are cool, but I'm starting to become like more anti-tattoos. Like, if anything, it's more uh, unique nowadays to be working out or into sports or physical culture and not have a tattoo than to have a tattoo. The reason I'm anti-tattoo is mostly pragmatic. Is a, it's just it's pretty expensive from what I understand. I'm like, why don't you just use all that money and just buy more like <laughs> beef, uh, beef ribs, beef neck bones, uh, Korean algae barbecue. Da, da, da. Also, I think that uh, real men actually should not spend that much money on a car like you think about the ancient spartans right ancient spartan like would an ancient spartan want to drive a lamborghini or ferrari or a porsche 911 911 gt3 or like no it's like the the true spartan i don't even think they used horses right it's just like hand-to-hand -hand combat the the power is in your legs um so that's one thing and uh Go sleeveless, also a good idea. And also I think with uh, weightlifting, right? <clears throat> the best way to approach weightlifting is, it's not even working, it's kind of like battle. It's like battle, conquest, domination, except you're doing it metaphorically with the steel and the iron. And it's kind of courage, like, and I'm starting to think that there's this link between danger and happiness, is a life without any sort of danger is not a life worth living. And actually, I think the, the reason why it's like, you know, it's good to chat up the, the pretty girl, or ask somebody on a day or whatever, or the pretty girl you see, because there is a danger that you might get rejected and or, you know, laughed at or whatever. Um, so I think uh, overall, these are all kind of a, a good thing. And other things that I do not consider manly is pet ownership. It's, it's, like, it's like, like, I have a simple barbell. It's like, either have a kid or no kid, don't have a dog, don't have a cat, don't have pets. Cause like, it's like, why would you put more fetters on your personal freedom? Right? Like the closest, I guess noble relationship I saw was like Alexander the Great and his uh, his horse because he used it as like a war chariot. I think Steven Spielberg also made a movie, what, War Horse? Maybe worth watching a film, but um, yeah, I think if you're a true man, you should not own a dog, dogs, cat, cats. It's like, like why? It's like, it's like ancient Spartans, the, the 300, they have Raising cats, dogs? No, right? Um, also video games, like, I'm starting to realize, like, it's like, okay, so you're a kid, and you know, whatever, it's playing video games, it's fine, right? But I'm like, if you're over age of 25, 30, and you're still playing video games, you're a man, it's like, what? Like, it's fine too, because ultimately, all forms of video games, you know, that people mostly play, if it's just sort of like killing or combat or shooting, da -da, I'm like, it's better to just go to the gym and just lift insanely heavy weights, um, than do it virtually in a video game. So video games are kind of out. Uh, uh, alcohol, smoking weed, and then also this uh, new aesthetic is like, what is, what is the new aesthetic? You're really into craft beer. You grow out a beard. You have some tattoos. You wear a hat look tough and you're like your passion is drinking craft beer i'm like what <laughs> your passion is like <laughs> increasing your estrogen and getting fat that that seems uh silly and then even um kind of something i don't consider manly either is like when guys get too much into wine or anyone gets too much into wine it's like it's like you're essentially fetishizing just drinking a alcoholic grape juice and also wine makes you fat it's essentially sugar right uh Right? Even I think the ancient Greeks and Spartans, when they drank uh, wine, 
it was actually apparently really watered down. They would intentionally water it down, so it wasn't. And I think even Cato and a lot of these, um, you know, kind of uh, like uber manly guys from the past. I think a lot of them actually abstained from alcohol totally. Um, even our best friend Nietzsche, probably one of the most manly philosophers to have ever lived, at least in terms of philosophy, he was very anti-alcohol. It's just like, no, alcohol ain't good. Um, because it weakens you, right? And also weed, it seems like, I'm like, am I the only person I know who don't smoke weed? <laughs> it's like, I mean, I have nothing morally, moralistically against it. I think the only problem with weed is it makes you lazy, unambitious, and it makes you fat because you get the weed munchies and you go, you hit up the Taco Bell or the McDonald's late night and the, so that's not good. Um, <laughs> it's so funny too, cause like, I'm like, I was born in 1988 and you know, I'm currently 35. I look at like, you know, my friends, my colleagues, or people I know, right? It's like, everyone's starting to look just so old, worn, torn, kind of like fat and soft. Even people who used to be skinny, they're kind of like skinny fat now and stuff like that. And so, yeah, I think, uh, you know, going to the gym, doing some physical exercise, um, extreme weightlifting, powerlifting style. Also intermittent fasting, no breakfast, no lunch. It's a good tip. And yeah, just, Simple things like abstaining from sugar. Like, I quit sugar like seven years ago. I don't, the only time I ever eat sugar is accidentally if somebody sneaks into my food, like I'm on the road, I'm like, oh, I'm so hungry, I wanna get a, some sort of meat item and you go to a hot food bar and they have like some sort of like beef stir fry thing. I'm like, okay, that looks pretty good. And then find out later that they added sugar to it as a motherfucker or like corn syrup. And actually uh, another thought too. So I went to my all you, favorite all you Korean barbecue place recently and uh, chatting with uh, one of the managers. Apparently they just buy their uh, their meat at the Costco business center. I'm like, and then my, I was talking to my sister and she was like, yeah, Korean barbecue is such a kind of, you, you cook your own meat and you have to tip them. And I realized, I'm like, hmm. Yeah, it's like, wait, it's like, this is such a scam. It's like, I go there, I cook my own meat. Da, 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 da. And I have to tip you for just bringing out the meat and the the, the kimchi. I'm like, I do that myself. It's like such a scam. So I ain't finna do that no more. Just go to Costco Business Center, uh, buy your own meat. Even you go to H Mart or Korean Market, just buy pork gel. It's um, apparently it's the, the neck cheek. It's uh, super good. Um, and yeah, and I also think that uh, another problem with a lot of internet culture dudes and you know, all, all these dudes trying to get laid or whatever. I'm just like, or you know, guys who are incels or. Uh, intentional cells or voluntary cells or whatever you call it, celibate. Um, they're all angry that like they can't get laid. I'm like, I've, actually, if you think about it, <laughs> assuming that uh, our spunk is the source of our power and our masculinity, the, actually the ideal thing is not to 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 blow your load at all unless you're going to be you know procreating technically with kids, right? Um, and actually ancient uh, Chinese medicine, you know, kind of the stuff, yin yang, whatever, to blow your load is called energy suicide. So apparently the, <laughs> the ancient emperors, whether Chinese or Korean, I don't remember, the goal was to sleep with as many virgin women as possible, but you're not allowed to blow your load, you gotta pull out. <laughs> because apparently the women has yin or yang or vice versa, I don't remember the exact order. Um, so yeah, so I think uh, that's actually why boxers or fighters I don't know, powerlifters abstain before uh, the, the night of the big fight. Nah, eh, you know, it might be true, it might be false, but um, I mean, like just think about it this way. It's like, uh, if you're about to, you know, do a one rem max, right, thousand pounds, let's say rack pull or deadlift or whatever, it's like, you're gonna rub one out real quick before? No, it's not a, not a, not a good idea, right? Because you just wanna take a nap afterwards. So I think also people are not critical enough into thinking about our human physiology. But uh, anyways, at the end of the day, you know, use, if you as a man, you're watching this, you know, posit your own end goals, your own ideals, become your own ideal, just share your own personal thoughts with others. And at the end of the day, it's just, it's just all philosophy.